we have made it widely known about how we feel about the Jets and Robert Sala. In fact, I think we've probably uh, put a little bit too much respect on the Jets uh, in some people's minds uh, already, but it doesn't matter. Because we all know at the end, the New York Jets are building something. That's right, they're building something. But before we get into why they're building something and what they're building, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. We love every single one of you. You guys are all truthfully awesome. I don't think I would have put something out like this uh, if they would have kept Sam Darnold around. Not that I think Sam Darnold's a bad quarterback, but I think his time, uh, rather we all knew that his time up in New York was probably coming to an end. Um, but I wish him nothing but the best in Carolina. I think he's going to be a very special player up there. Uh, but I also think at the end of the day, uh, we knew it was coming to an end. So when they went out and traded Sam Darnold and went and got Zach Wilson with the second overall pick, I'm a, I, I couldn't be anything but excited because the Jets, they've got a new GM, they've got a new quarterback, they've got a new head coach. And by golly, I believe they are building something there in New York. Yep. I believe that based on the facts uh, of what this team has already done, let's just look at the offensive line. We'll get to the quarterbacks in a second. Let's look at the offensive line. You talk about Mekhi Becton, who I believe uh, is going to be a fantastic left tackle for the Jets moving forward. Now, uh, if you look at a lot of uh, things, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, penalties and sacks allowed, allowed uh, had seven penalties, allowed seven sacks, not great, but overall had a 74.4 PFF grade, uh, the former uh, number 11 overall selection uh, uh, out of uh, Louisville. I, I think he's going to be a fantastic football player, uh, especially for the Jets. He is mean. He is, uh, he's green because the Jets, uh, and he's just, he's just a blocking machine. He's going to be a lot of fun. And if you have him, and then also let's not, for, let's please not forget, uh, and Elijah Vera Tucker, uh, the, uh, now, uh, left guard, the starting left guard, you're starting left side, by the way, Elijah Vera Tucker, for, uh, now a, uh, first round 14th overall selection, your first draft pick, your, your, excuse me, your, uh, the entire left side of your line, excuse me, consists of Mikai Becton, Elijah Vera Tucker. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. That's going to be a fun. That's going to be a very, very fun for the Jets moving forward because I think it really comes down to how well this team is put together, and it's nothing exemplifies that example more than the, the, than their entire left side of their offensive line. This is going to be a fun rebuild for the Jets fans. I know things uh it gets a little dire at times uh and the new jets are, are are certainly a team that have been um have been downgraded on out for a long time but just with those two those two uh linemen i think you're going to turn a lot of things around you're going to provide a great blindside help for zach wilson um you got tevin coleman at running back ty johnson did some things also love uh, michael carter coming out of north carolina this is going to be a fun team now it might take a couple years because yes uh, you've got some things you got to put together, and Robert Saylor, I believe, is going to do that. I think he's going to transform this defense. By the way, I think he's going to make it. Uh, he's going to make Quinn and Williams just blow up. Uh, you got Corey Davis uh, from the Titans, who I think is, uh, in a way, kind of resurged his career last year. You know, you you, you have a guy that uh, caught five touchdowns over 980 yards last year on 65 uh, 65 receptions, excuse me, 92 targets. Um, then you also talk about I, I have been high on Demzel Mims. Oh, I've been so high on Demzel Mims since the day. He came out of Baylor. I absolutely love him. 6'3", 207, uh, just nothing but size and speed for days. He is going to be a hand with the Jets. They also, good old Jamison Crowder leading the team in catches uh, the last couple of years and, and doing his thing too. So uh, even Chris Herndon coming in at a tight end too. Uh, but overall, with what we're seeing from uh, all aspects for, of this football team, uh, also Keelan Cole, you can't forget him, uh, and, and really from top to bottom, uh, Ryan Griffin and Tyler Croft there at tight end. This is going to be a fun team. This is going to be a dynamite team. We're not even getting to anything defensively. We already talked about Makai Becton. Or excuse me, not Mike. Oh, well, yes, we talked about Makai Becton. But we already talked about Quinn and Williams, rather, who I think is going to come out and absolutely uh, get some things done. Now, um, I, I think you're going to find that, really, in my mind, I, I think Sable is going to really make w Williams just explode. He is going to make him come out of his shell and be the player uh, that everyone has expected him to be. Also, Sheldon Rankins, 
Um, I expect him to do some big things. I, I really do. I uh, didn't exactly go according to plan with the uh, with the Saints last year, uh, but Sheldon Rankins, uh, make no mistake, is going to be a fantastic football player for the Jets as well. I expect him to do some things this year as well. The guy that uh, at one time uh, had eight sacks in 2018 with the Saints uh, when that team was was looking fine, was looking like they were going to be a, a tough team. So, um, but at the end of the day. The New York Jets are are, are building uh, a lot of great things. Uh, whether it's uh, obviously we covered the offense, you know, defense. Um, I love Vinnie Curry. I love C.J. Mosley. Uh, Gerard Davis. Um, you know, Ashton Davis also played some uh, great football last year. Marcus May is one of the best and most underrated safeties in the entire NFL. Don't at me. So. Uh, let us know what you guys think about the Jets uh, and the fact that they are building something. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you guys. Also, uh, in the description down below, you will find handles to all of our social media platforms down in the description below. Make sure you guys go give us a follow on social media. Check out our website at the Sports Brief Podcast. Dot com. That's right. Uh, and also remember to give us a sub and a, uh, I believe it's a like, uh, whatever it is on iTunes. Just give us a listen there on iTunes. We greatly appreciate all the support we've gotten there. And finally, if you would like us to cover anything, make sure you guys send us an email at the sportsbp on yahoo.com. But finally, overall, let us know what you guys think about the fact that New York Jets are building something.